In today's video, I was sent a massive box full of old school Yu-Gi-Oh packs. What's up guys, we're back with another collection opening. This collection, I believe is all sealed product. I'm not even 100% sure what's inside, but it's a pretty big box and sealed product is my favorite and we like to open it on this channel. Today's giveaway will include these three cards, including a Japanese Dark Magician Girl. All you have to do, like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below your favorite item that we got from this collection. Let's get back to it. So first off, we have not a sealed Joey tin, but it looks like there are going to be packs inside of this tin. Let's see what they are. So right off the bat, we have some Lost Millennium First Edition. I'm assuming these are not hobby packs. Yeah, these look like retail packs, so they're not going to be as valuable as the hobby ones because you can't get like Ancient Gear Golem, Ultimate Rare, but there are some cool cards that you can get. So I'm guessing all of these are 82. Yeah, I think it would be 76 if it was a hobby pack. So good stuff because the box is 75. So it's usually one after that for the pack. And then, of course, we have Power of the Duelist, which these are also probably uh, not hobby. But at the same time, uh, there are some cool cards in the retail. I think I don't know Power of the Duelist off the top of my head, but I'm guessing that these are retail because the guy I got them from, I think, pulled a retail card or ulti out of one of them. So that would check out. So a few more Lost Millennium. It's kind of a lot of packs here in terms of Power of the Duelist. These retail go for a lot less than the hobby, but they are still really nice. So we'll see what we want to do about these but uh, if we do get them we're probably going to open these next up bubble wrap as if i don't have enough of that already thanks to the move i have three full boxes worth of bubble wrap so i'll add this to that can't let it go to waste because i am going to use it eventually all right next we have a box that's holding i'm guessing some packs maybe okay what are they all right looks like more uh lost millennium okay these are are they still retail looks like they are so more retail lost millennium which is wait Wait, no, wait, what is this? Okay, yeah, more retail, lost one name, got it. All right, then we have Future Fusion, which I think he pulled uh, Ultimate Rare. So that's a pretty cool card because I do need a uh, nice version of this for my Edison deck. So very cool. I will definitely be picking that up. Uh, originally, he said uh, maybe he was selling it and then he he's like, actually, do you want it? So I was like, oh, sure. Yeah, if you, if you want to. So cool uh more lost millennium very nice so so far a bunch of retail packs which is cool but not too crazy let's see what else we got we got a five plus extra deck box pack so this one kind of looks like it's been opened before has it been opened maybe yeah that looks like it's been open so I, I don't know this is definitely not sealed so maybe it's you know got the cards in it or something or the packs in it still but not completely sealed so cool item uh, very cool. We definitely have to make a video out of this one. The Labyrinth of Nightmare, Metal Raiders, Elo Beef. Whoa, first edition. Uh, has this been like repacked? In okay, time out. We got to check this out. Did this originally come with Elo Beef first edition, or is this just packed into this box? Because that is definitely not sealed in there. So this is not. I don't think this is the original pack that used to be in there because I don't think I've ever seen a first ed LOB pack. So first edition LOB, I'm going to have to figure out what's up with this, this box, because it was certainly not sealed. I think that was just added later. These may also have been so cool packs either way. I don't really know what the deal with them is, though. If it was sealed, it'd be a little better because you'd feel a little bit, bit better about them being unweighed. But because it's not, yeah, they're probably weighed and not necessarily by the guy I'm buying them from. You know, it's just when they're loose packs, they've been around for a while. A lot. If they've changed hands a few times, you never really know. All right, the next tin we have, uh, I, the box fell over, so the tin opened, but let's see what was in here. We have, uh, okay, these are not 2002 Pharaoh Servant Unlimited. It looks like they are tin packs or 2003. So we have a bunch of these, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 right there. That's not even all of them. There's a bunch more. Let's see if I can grab all of them. Uh, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. That's a lot of packs right there. Oh my goodness. 32, 33. So we are, I mean, I don't know where these came from. They're probably not from 10 if you have this many i don't even know it's interesting so there's a lot of them uh, it could have just been a 2003 print or something like that that was just a one tin full of pharaoh's servant which we can't complain about because genzo hopefully they're not from 10 actually because if they're from the 10 it's i don't think you can get genzo so hopefully they're just from somewhere else in 2003 all right that's not all we have majestic red dragon this thing is chock full with packs right here let me just open this thing up inside there are i mean as you can see on the side some really nice packs so let's get out power of the duelist first because you know we have a lot of those already power of the duelist i'm guessing same code yeah 96 still then we have 
what appears to be more Pharaoh's servant. Yeah, more Pharaoh's servant. So we're at over like, how many packs is this now? Like 38 Pharaoh's servant packs from 2003. So old school Pharaoh's servant, not quite the oldest, but much older than obviously the 25th anniversary, 2017, all that stuff. So very cool to open those. And we have a few elemental energy. These are unlimited. Uh, I don't know the code for this. I don't think 85. Mm, not totally sure what the code is for that one. So we'll have to look that up. But those I'm guessing retail, but they could be hobby. That'd be really cool. Oh, wait, we're not done. We're not done with Pharaoh Servant. We got a few more. So this is a absolute ton of Pharaoh Servant. Oh, there's a there's a label in there. OK, so label for a uh, Legend of Blue Eyes foil pack. Wait, is this first edition pack a cracked PSA 10? Then it's almost definitely like then. Also, why was it cracked out of a foil pack? That's interesting because PSA 10 LOB packs are pretty valuable. So that's an interesting decision there. But it's good. That's good info to know before you, you buy something that is cracked out of a foil, out of a pack. Because usually if you grade a pack, it's usually like uh, two a Pharaoh servant. Very cool. So probably not one that I would want to open then because it's probably going to be light, which we have opened light packs many times on this, but it's it's all about knowing if it's light because like if you know it's light, it's not very interesting. If you don't know it's light and then it turns out to be light, it's still exciting. OK, a few more packs. We have uh, first edition LON. One, two, three of those. That's nice. And then a first dead raging battle. Good stuff you can pull out of there. So first edition, I haven't seen a lot in this opening yet, so that's really cool. Then we have some non first editions, but some nice ones. Magicians for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packs. Magician's Force, very good. Always good to see that because the DMG is, you know, ridiculous, obviously. And don't worry, we're not done yet. We got a few more packs. We have 2002 Legend of Blue Eyes. Not first edition, but the original Unlimited. We have one, we have two, three, four. Oh, wait, there's one more. We got a uh, Pharaoh Servant. Five LOB. 2002 and then another pharaoh servant so pharaoh servant everywhere overall pretty insane a lot of packs here and i'm pretty excited to potentially open up some of these on the channel because i haven't actually worked out what we're paying for these yet i'm not going to open any of these just yet just in case something happens and we have to return some of them or don't like the prices or whatever because you just want to make sure we don't open anything ahead of time but that doesn't mean we won't be opening packs i grabbed a few cool ones such as two rarity collection two maze metal raiders uh spell ruler lob and then a champion pack two that i had lying around Around. I figure we could open an old school pack today, like legitimately super old. So that'll be fun. Let's open these real quick because this was a shorter video and I know you guys like to see pack openings at the end at least. So I'm going to open a few packs for you guys. Maybe we can pull something crazy just to be blessed by these other packs here. We have Mechanical Snail, we have Griggle. Can't pull the cards. We have Weather Report, Octo Burser, Gravekeeper Servant. We have Spear Cretan, Queen Bird and uh, Amoeba and oh! Ultra Tune Mermaid. All right. So we are getting something good. I'll take it. We got something good out of the first pack. That's a great start. MRL Tune Mermaid. SRL. Sorry, not MRL. I apologize, Konami. I know that you are not magic anymore. You are spell. Okay. MRD, my favorite set. Let's go. Can we get Summon Skull, Beast Skull, Solemn Judgment, Barrel Dragon, Gate Guardian, Thousand Dragon, any of that stuff. Gate Guardian pieces, Jellyfish. We have Mirror Force. Okay. Let's try to get Mirror Force. Punish Eagle. German Faction. Ground Attacker Bugroth. Lava Battle Guard for Joey Wheeler and Tristan. Tristan, what's his last name? Tristan something. Cannon Soldier and the Block Attack. All right, Metal Raiders, but not any of my favorite cards in there. Okay, let's do. Okay, we need to do these uh, these Maze packs. Let's see those before we do Lob. Let's do Maze. See if we can pull a Bonfire real quick. That'd be nice. Uh, Ultra Guys Multi Faker. We have Full Armor to Black Ray Lancer. We have Earthbound Prisoner. Emergency. Earthbound Prisoner, Stone Sweeper. Okay, so uh, not one we're looking for there. We will be looking for something out of Rarity, though. Rarity Collection Uno. Let's see what we can get. Uh, it's an English pack, so, or a U.S. pack. So we have uh, Deco Takahitsul. Pot of Extravagance. Oh, Rux and Special, right past the Dengirsu Platinum Rare. Okay, we got some there. Number 100 and Chaos Space. So nothing too crazy. We did get a Platinum Rare. Maze of Millennia. Back to you. Let's see if you got anything else crazy. I mean, you got some crazy cards in your set potentially. So give us one of them. We have Earthbound Release. We have the Chimera, the Flying Mythical Beast. Altergeist. Altergeist Marionetter. Oh, baby. We got something. Is it going to be a big card? Come on, Maze. Oh, it was a spell card, but the wrong one. I have illusion. We'll still take it, though. An ultra is not bad. Not the right spell. It wasn't a bonfire. We'll take it, though. Rarity collection. Last pack here. Can we get an ash blossom? Uh, one from the back. Here we go. We have ghost bell and haunted mansion. Galaxy eyes after glow dragon. 
Shadal Schism. Come on, give us an Ultra or Ulti or Collector Rare. Eco Talker Heat Soul. Oh, a Triple Tactics Talents. Not bad. So we'll take that. Couple good cards in there. LOB. Just leading up to LOB. The Blue Eyes White Dragon. Here we go. One, two, three. From the back, we have Tripwire Beast, Flame Manipulator, Book of Secret Arts, Succubus Knight, Channing Mermaid, Hitotsumi Giant, Raise Body Heat, Dark Fire Dragon, and the Swords of Revealing Light. We'll take it. Another nice pull. Honestly, we're doing pretty good out of only a few packs today. Very decent. And if we could really continue that and pull a Magician of Faith out of here, I'd be very happy. More than very happy. I would freak out. Okay, Champion Pack 2. This came out in, I think, 2008. Second Champion Pack, obviously, right after the first eight tournament packs. Very, very expensive cards in here, especially that Magician of Faith. So let's, I don't know where the foil card would be if there is a foil card, because these are not guaranteed. These are old. Sometimes you get just rares. Oh no. Hopefully that's not the rare. Oh no. Well, that card is destroyed. Okay, Book of Tayo. Okay, hopefully this is not it. Okay, Thunder Drag. Oh, that sucks, because that's actually a good card. And the Karibo. I forgot Karibo alternate art was in here. It's kind of sick, actually. It's actually in good condition as well, so I'm going to sleeve that one up. Unfortunately, Thunder Dragon, not so much. You got destroyed. I bet this would have been a few dollars if it had not been like this. It might even still be a dollar just because Thunder Dragon is always expensive. If you guys enjoyed this collection opening, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutster, Brad, KK Beats, and Unatai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Changlang, and Joey Castle. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.